Good evening, YouTubians. So I've started building the uh, frame for the 3D printer. Um, all I'm doing at the moment, I'm just following a, a manual that is found on this website. So, um, so I'm actually on this stage here. So I'm on page 19 of the 103-page visual manual of how to put this thing together. Um, so I've just gone through and I've done all this stuff. I've built the triangles. You've got to you've got to build um, these two triangles, which I've essentially done here. So I've built this sort of section there, and um, and then the other section there to make the two triangles. Um, I had to make sure that the length between um, the length of each triangular side was uh, 29 centimeters exactly, um, so I did that and got into a little bit of an issue, where did I get into a bit of an issue? Just here, where the rod that um, I was supplied was just a tad too small, so I had to sacrifice a washer so that I could move this a little bit up and get the full 29 centimeters of that um, side of the of, of that triangle. And then I assembled the front um, side, so it's not all, it's not tightened up yet. But um, got a couple of um, bearings here, and from what I understand, the belt is going to run along that and control the either the X or Y axis um, when it's printing. Um, and a couple of clamps here for some bars. I don't actually know what that's for yet, but I'm sure I will. And yeah, so it's a bit, uh, it's, it's, it's certainly very interesting. I mean, the only thing I've got to do is when you're looking at the manual, you know, this visual manual, you've also got to check with the latest, with the latest modifications on the actual website. So this bit here where they tell you to put this little front section together and you've got this, uh, you've got this, this one wash is one bearing here, but in fact they give you an image down here and say no, don't do that. Put two bearings. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just following that through, and uh, and this is and this is how far we've got. So we've got a very basic frame, which is uh, coming together. Um, at first, I was questioning, you know, how what lengths what lengths of rods do I use here? Do I use the big the big um, you know, four four hundred millimeter rods that I've got, or do I use these these smaller ones? And looking at the pictures, it looks like that the four hundred millimeter ones are for um, are for the top section um, for where the actual print head is mounted on. So I'm sure we'll get to that later. But um, yeah, making progress.